Hey fans, welcome to the first FIFA 15 career mode for Team Soccer TV. I, I really didn't know what I was doing here. I played around a lot, picking a lot of teams and starting career modes, but I finally decided to start a career mode with Chelsea and yeah, I, at first I was like, I'm going to play with Manchester City, then I was like, Arsenal, Arsenal had a pretty decent team, but then I was like, you know what, who's the number one team in Premier League right now that looks like they're going to win the Premier League? And probably championship league i'm not gonna jinx it but it looks like they might win championship league this year with the team they have but i decided to play as jose Mourinho, and i'm gonna play for chelsea it's gonna be a pretty cool manager mode you know what this is the first manager mode that i ever done so it's gonna be pretty weird i never edited this video like that but anyways created chelsea career mode started off i didn't do the transfer season thing like other people do uh, pretty much I just went straight ahead and signed Verratti. Verratti is a really good midfielder that I really needed. Him and Fabregas would be amazing. The other player that I brought back was Van Ginkle as a substitute. You know, he'll be a lot of help in my career mode. Uh, the other two players I signed, this is a pretty surprising one. Uh, I said that I still had Salah, so I was like, maybe I'll sign Lamella. So I decided Lamella would be better at Chelsea since he's becoming a better player at Tottenham. I thought he would actually be the number one star at Chelsea. So I sold William. Yes, I sold William. If you're a huge fan of William, I'm sorry. But I don't see him as a Chelsea player. So I pretty much just sold him. Next thing is I signed Yanuzaj. Yanuzaj is a big player at Manchester United. But he's not given a chance to play as much as he should. So I thought about it and I paid 20 million plus. Obi Michael for Yanuzaj. You know what? This player will be big at Chelsea career mode this season. We'll see what happens with him. But the last player that I signed, I forgot for a second and I was looking for him. Oh, Insignia right there. So Insignia, guess how much I paid for him? 12 million pounds for this player. I had to sign him. I'm going to play him as my striker with Diego Costa up front. Once in a while, I'll substitute uh, Drogba or I'll actually start Drogba. I know there's... Uh, what's his name? Ah, flew out of my head. Let me see if I can see. Ah, no, I forgot. Anyway, oh, Remy. Look, Remy. I know he's there too. But the next player I signed was the Shiglio. I needed a defender. I know that Cahill is a good defender. Terry is about to retire. Right back, Ivanovic. So I signed the Shiglio because I looked ahead of time so if Ivanovic was going to retire. So this is my first Your game ever played in FIFA 15. This is pretty weird to get used to. I played a lot of demo, but this match versus Burnley was pretty freaking boring. And this man, Diego Costa, I was trying to mimic, you know, the real life shit, the 10 goals that he scored in Premier League or whatever. And Fabregas was going to help him make this happen in the first game to actually score a goal in the first game, which pretty much didn't happen. I had a good chance with Diego Costa, you know, I know this team has made a lot of changes and made it a little bit more mobile, but right there Diego Costa missing just a sitter was pretty frustrating, or here was a really cool play, and saving two Oscar, one touch and a miss. So the whole freaking half I had those two chances and the whole time Burnley was attacking me, but there was no a lot, no good chances that I could have shown you that Burnley could have scored on me. Anyways, yeah, first half was pretty crappy, but this was the goal of the season for me. Well, my first game can't be the goal of the season, but the first free kick I've ever had in FIFA 15. I took it with Didier Drogba. I was about to use Hazard, but I took Didier Drogba because I know he has good power. And this is just a beautiful freaking, ah, just, just a sexy free kick. It touches the bar while it goes in. Uh, you know what? FIFA 15 did improve a lot of stuff than FIFA 14. FIFA 14 had a lot of struggle in scoring free kicks, but this was just beautiful. First shot, first goal. Toys. This is the man that's going to be all the time in my goals. You know what, Peter Chet probably is going to start every once in a while, but I'm not sure. But I thought it would be Diego Costa that would score the first goal. But anyways, it was a tie. I didn't have the goal that Bernie scored. I didn't show it to you, my bad. Again, this is my first career mode. It was weird to edit. 
Anyways, next Welcome match was Chelsea versus Light in Leicester City. You know, this was going to be pretty Chelsea weird. I hoped that Let's I was going to come out with the win. But, you know, it didn't happen. I got really frustrated in this game. I thought that DDS and Costa was going to freaking show up and score, or at least Hazard. But anyways, the game started out pretty good. Um, I didn't have a lot of possession in here. Like, I didn't know how to control that good. I had a chance right here with Diego Costa. I went in, and... They called the outside. You know, I, I just hate it. I just hate it. Every chance I had, I could not complete. Sorry, the video messed up a little bit right here. But here's an amazing freaking welcome. Yeah, so right. Sky's the limit. That's pretty much all the chances I've seen. Oh, yeah, the next game is versus Swansea City. You know what? I'm hoping that I'm going to win that game. It's going to be an amazing match. You know? I'm actually hoping that he yeah, cuts the scores. Anyways, Eric Lamella has a great chance right here. He cuts back in, passes it to Insigne. Insigne goes to Diego Costa, Fabregas, Fabregas shoots and nothing. Once again, pretty shitty start for me. This was the moment. This was the moment for Insigne to show that he's worthwhile starting in front of, uh, you know, Drogba. What the fuck was that? I don't know what I thought, but I thought that the keeper was going to come out, so I chipped it right at the last second, and it did not happen at all. This was so frustrating. Leicester City kept attacking, and then Courtois messed up, and that's what happened. King scored the weirdest shit. You know what? This is just FIFA. This is just normal FIFA, so I wasn't that frustrated, but it pissed me off because the ball went straight to Courtois, and he just fucked up like that. Anyways, my chance with Bobby goes to the Chilio. La Mela, will he prove it? Yes, he proved it. He does amazing control. He, this player is just worthwhile buying, especially because I bought him for 20, 23.5 million pounds. This player is an amazing right wing, and he's only going to get better. The other thing that made me happy is that Eric Lamella finally has a face, and that's what's really important. All right, so that was a tie before, so we go to Swansea City, and I'm like, all right, we got to win a game. And you know what? I was thinking I'm not going to have... You know, no losses in the season. I'm going to imitate what Chelsea has. And, uh, yeah, um, guess what happens? Fucking amazing freaking header by Wilfred Boney. That was an amazing match, but you know what? It was only seven minutes in, and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to counterattack. I'm going to set up a different formation. I'm going to attack a little bit more. No, in the 17th minute, this is just an outrageous goal. This pissed. I actually got super mad about this one. Freaking pop off. Shoots an amazing strike from like, what, 15 yards? Who the hell is Pop-Up? And is he really at Swansea? I don't know. Come up below and tell me. But anyways, this is another goal. That, where, where is my defense? What the hell was Cahill doing? What the fuck happened? Courtois didn't do shit about it. And yes, Swansea raped the crap out of me. 3-0. I was about to rage quit. But I couldn't quit because I didn't unlock it. So, anyways, Rutledge scored a beautiful goal, and yeah, we lost the first match of the Premier League season, so there's no way imitating the game. Anyways, we'll go in, I, I skipped a little bit, my bad, but we go in in the Championship League, and I made it as close as I could to the real life day, but we're playing Sporting City, and I was like, you know what, free kick again, maybe I'll score again, so I started trying to record with this freaking free kick, I thought that maybe I'll score again, and... Yes, I did. You know, Eden Hazard is going to be my number one man of the season. And I'm going to play him every single game. Maybe I'll rest him once in a while. I'll play Salah for him. But remind me about this player, Gokan Ture. I have to sign this guy because he's been with Chelsea for a long time back then. They sold him to Hamburg. And now he's in Besiktas. I want to bring him back to Chelsea and make him the number one star in there. But anyways, Hazard scored another beautiful goal at the end of the match. Well, the second goal of the match. I forgot to record. The Insignia goal and Insignia scored his first goal in this match. But anyways, fan, I will do better job on the next video. I'll edit it a little bit better. Hopefully, fans enjoy it. Just give me 200 likes, on, no, 200 views on this video, and I'll see that it's worthwhile making another video for you fans. Comment below, subscribe. See you later.